Adam C and welcome back to my Cobra and quite an exciting day actually because on the 3rd of June of this year, Bank Holiday Friday, I am hosting my very own car show Adam C Fest at Wilson Mill Karting and today it's another bank holiday and I'm heading to Wilson Mill Karting for a car show so I can show you guys kind of what it's like on a slightly smaller scale so you can get an idea for what my show is going to be like. So Petrol Hedonism is hosting a show with Flash Cars UK, Yakushi and the Abarth Owners Club but I thought I'd show up in this car. I had it out for the weekend. So details can be found in the video description about my events, the tickets and all inquiries. But let's get there and see what it's like. So here we are, junction 16 of the M1, ready for the last leg of the drive. So there's actually some really nice roads from the M1 to the venue. It's not too far from the M1, but it's a nice finale of the drive. So I'll catch up with you once I'm at Wilson Mill and then we can catch all the cars rolling in for the show. So here we are at Wilton Mill Karting for the Petrol Hedonism Show. So this will be the entrance for the show cars at Adam Seafest. So get familiar with it. So being a casting circuit that we are parking up on, I am parked up on the home straight in position numero uno. We can't fill up this side because that's where the cars are rolling through. So there will be a lot of Abarths as part of the Abarth Owners Club. They are parking in the far corner. I remember those corners from casting around this circuit. I did in a previous video. So this is the circuit that we're parking on. And then down there, there's a circuit that we're going to go karting on. So if you come to my event, you get the opportunity to drive slowly around a karting track in your car. I mean, who can say that they've driven on a go-kart track? Not a lot of people, but hopefully a lot more after my event on the 3rd of June. So we now have a Honda NSX arriving in the middle of the Abarth. We have a very pink Abarth behind that. And this is today's marvellous Lord timepiece that I'm wearing, who have sponsored this video, giving you 10% off your purchase using Adam C at LordTimepieces.com. We have the Yakushi stand with a Toyota Crown parked outside. Also Finesse have the Petrol Hedonism Huber Design Aventador with its new carbon stripes up the bonnet, really completing the look of the front end of this car in Viola Ophelia. We've got more cars parking in the main section. This C63 is manoeuvring around. We also have a stage up here so we can play music. We've got a DJ books. I think I might be giving a few speeches, which is a little bit daunting in front of all the people. We've got trade stands, including who's this? Lowe's UK. What's the mic? That's not Boris. Does this mic have a name other than the purple no, one? It's called the purple micro. The purple the micro. Oh, there's Boris. There's Boris. <laughs> we, we amputated him. Yes. We bought one of his wheels. Uh, oh, oh, and now no. he's all his pieces off. Yeah. <laughs> will Boris be at Adam Seafest? Of course he'll be. Of course he'll be, of course he'll be there. Of course, he'll be. of course. We also have some of the Yakushi cars arriving. We've got an R32 GTR, an R34 GTR, and yes, you guessed it, an R33 GTR. With an R35 GTR behind, there's another the base side blue R34 GTR that just parks over there and the R33 stalled. So it's a pretty crazy sight actually, seeing cars driven around a karting circuit. We've got a Fiat 124 driving past as well. I think the Fiat's probably joining the Abarths because they're Fiat. And then up here in this little pen is the Flash Cars UK section. So we have this part of the area as well as the circuit. There's a GTM Libra within the Flash Cars section. We also have this Max Power styled Ford Fiesta with I think they're S Max front headlights and a very large front bump as well. Oh, but doesn't that grid look good? So I'm now at the uh, Yakushi show. So this is the Japanese section of the show. So we've got a Honda E next to a couple of Civic with ITBs and an Igo with a wide arches and quite an open mouth. We've got a few more arrivals rolling through. We've got the new Supra, another R34 and a 33 behind that. <laughs> Here we have this crazy Mitsubishi Evo and a Mustang driving past the Japanese section. There is this S15 with Sharon on the side of it and a 350Z with red details. And then we have the lineup of 32, 33, 34 and 35 GTR with the GR Yaris on the end. Pretty awesome to see those together. More Abarths are turning up. And past this matte purple 370Z we have even more of the Yakushi lot. So there won't be 
necessarily sections like this at my show. Everyone will be parking on the track. We've got spectator parking on a field over there as well. The car track will be open too. It's going to be great. There's going to be thousands of cars. So at the back of the start grid, we've got the petrol hedonism Porsche Cayman next to a GTR. We've got a very low Audi RS6. This is the V10 model. It's got the bonnet up with the V10 on show with an RX7 in front of it looking fantastic. So there you go, V10 TFSI. And then we have the Bayside Blue R34 GTR. Beyond the RX7, we have one of the abafts, one of the more showy abafts of the lot. There are so many on the field out the back. We've got another Volkswagen Beetle, another excellently clean example as well. Take a look at that interior. We've got the Fiat 124 that is parked in front of it as well. So we've got the classics on show on the grid. Classics including the Series 1 RS Turbo. And then we have the C63 with a bit of a wrap on the side. So very brave at the rear and then kind of subtle on the front. Although you can see the inner dishes of the front wheels also have the high vis green to match. We've got the NSX, Ferrari 360 Spider, and then that incredibly clean Beetle Cabriolet up front as well, alongside the Seat and my car. We have quite a few Max Power cars here as well, celebrating the Max Power reunion that will be on later this year. So this one's on its rotor forms, and then the proper Max Power reunion Astra is on show here with many speakers in the booth, I can only presume. Predictable. Also, how many screens has it got? You got one, two, that kind of counts, three, four, five, six, there might be more. But I think most of the cars have now turned up, so we've got the Abarth 124 Spiders behind me and the rest of the Abarth Owners Club in front. There are so many colours and we have grouped together the yellow Abarths all with each other and we have pink right out front as well. So picture the scene, all of the cars parked on the grass, on the track as well, it's going to be insane. And we have availability for trade stands as well, if you want to trade at my show there's links in the video description for that as well, it's all in the same link on the Petrol Hedonism site. Here are the yellow abafts. That one stands out with its white arches and details and Italian flags all around. And then it seems we have a bit of a supercar section in the middle. We've got the 570S Ferrari F12. There's a chrome green Huracan Performante. And check out the wheels on the abaft. We also have this 991 Turbo S with its chrome wheels on display. We've got the Urban Land Rover. We've got the 720S and a 488 Pista as well. But one section we haven't looked at for quite a while is the Yakushi section. So these are all the Japanese cars like the Pulsar in cherry red that are on display. There's a few boosted barges. There are no chasers here today. There is a chap wearing and everyone loves a white chaser t-shirt which is available here but no white chasers yet. We've got loads of Zeds, got Evos, Civics, Supras, MX-5s, oh, a few Supras, Mark IVs and 5s. We've also got a graphite grey R32 GTR that has recently turned up. One of many Scotlands that are here today. And this Evo sounded pretty insane when it arrived. Take a look at that gold heat proofing on the bonnet. And we have a Sora and a Supra next to each other. You can see in the Sora the 1J and in the Supra a turbocharged V8. Got the Nismo 370Z, got the Mr. 2. An R33, an R34, Mark 5 Supra, a Merino Blue MX-5, a 350Z, a 370Z, a 350Z convertible. There we go, there's one of those here. I hope to have all three of my cars here, including the 350. That's the plan. And of course we are revisiting this feisty Mark 1 with its teeth. It's actually a little bit of an MX-5 section. We've got this one red with the pink engine bay and ITVs, and then I presume this one's, oh it's supercharged. And back around to a bit of a Skyline section with a Bluebird, there's a R34, the GTT, there's a GT86 as well intruding, and the casting has begun on the short circuit. So this will be open during Adam Seafest for you to have a go on. You may be able to race me, but today I'm going to have a go, that's for sure. I've just noticed the Honda E has tried to fit in by opening his flap on the front. That's going to be the new trend over on opening up their electricity flaps on their electric cars instead of the bonnets. But as the day is getting on, it's actually time for me to go karting. So I'm going to race five people who have paid to race against me. I'll see you on track. Right, we've been told unlucky number seven is the car not to get, so I'm going to get it. Oh. One's died as well. Yeah, that was just one on that. Sorry about that. That's alright.
Thank you. tragic that's a very slow cart it was my third cart <laughs> i broke the first two so it seems i have a habit of breaking things the first cart i had i was pretty much winning i was winning and then it broke the belt snapped second cart i was starting from the rear trying to go through the grid and then apparently there's a lot of smoke the belt broke i broke that one the third one was the slowest one on the track these are my driver excuses but also the truth so i'm glad that the winner won himself he is through to the championship at the end of the day so that would be fun to watch i think jack mcneil is hosting a race later today with some of the people that wanted to race against him so that'll be interesting to watch but actually there's not too many cars i'm still filming on my gopro on my helmet cam a lot of the cars have since left whilst i was Casting for half an hour, 35 minutes that was, but I, I broke two of them. But I just had a stroke of luck. The Flash Cars UK guys had their session on track, and the winner of that session gets entered into the final, but they wanted to head home because they live quite far away from here. So they had a space reserved for the final, and you'll never guess who took that. Yes, that's right. I got another go casting. I didn't film it, thought I'd give myself better aero so I didn't look like a teddy tubby. And um, I, I may have broken a few more I was told we were driving too fast but I won I won first prize in the final of the day so that was my day with petrol hedonism at Wilson Mill Karting now in June I will be hosting my own event on this circuit we'll have cars parked on the grass on the circuit around the side we've got spectator parking and we have karting so if you want to beat my best time around the small circuit of Wilson Mill which today was 32.2 32.299 to be fair um, then you can take part you can book your tickets for here you can book karting as well on the day so I look forward to seeing all of you here there's going to be thousands of cars but I'm really looking forward to Adam Seafest Chiro's just left in his event at all so I hope you enjoyed that video go follow me on Instagram for the updates and highlights of the events that I do and updates about this event that I'm doing on the 3rd of June a bank holiday tickets are in the videos link and there's trade stands available too and sponsors all in that link in the video's description so I hope you enjoy that video but for now thanks for watching